Main crustay, families, please uh, move back. What's your impressions? Uh, what do you think? What do you think about your launch? We're fully ready. We're happy. We're glad to go. Please look at the cameras. What camera? Where well, responded the person who asked the question? Oleg, how many experiments are planned? What are the most interesting for you? What are you expecting from them? All of them are important for us. Uh, around 50 are planned. So we would really like to fulfill all of them so that those who ordered them are happy. Personally for you, what would you like to try to do? I'll go and try everything, then I'll determine myself and I'll tell you. I'm going to write a blog or to take pictures or what. We'll try to write a blog if we have a possibility. Probably we'll be sending down link in as many photos as possible, videos for the family and friends, colleagues. I'm going to meet New Year's in orbit. How going to greet a family? How going to uh, talk to them? Well, we'll try to maintain communication as much as possible. I don't think we're bored. And it's great to have New Year's in space. And we keep everybody in our hearts. Oleg, do you have that feeling that you're just about to go to space? If not, then when do you expect this feeling to show up? I think this thing is there once you become a part of the cosmonaut core. Just need to make a few final steps on to the launch pad. How often will we be able to talk to your families? Are there any restrictions? I would like to ask the commander. There is no mediator. We have uh, good friends, and uh, our friends are always there for us. For NASA TV, for Kevin, you're leaving today from Star City, Russia, for two weeks for, for Baikonur, Kazakhstan. How are you going to be spending your remaining two weeks down there prior to launch? Well, the reason we're leaving today is uh, so that we can get down there for our fit check tomorrow, our first series of fit checks. It'll be the first time we see the real spacecraft. 
in, uh, in Baikonur, so we'll climb in tomorrow in flight suits, have a chance to spend some time looking over the spacecraft in, uh, in shirt sleeves, if you will, and then we'll put on our uh, spacesuits in the afternoon and we'll strap in just like we would for a little launch and we'll be able to look over the exterior of the spacecraft. We'll do one more fit check like that just a little bit later, but by then the spacecraft will be underneath the shroud uh, ready to put on the rocket so we won't be able to see the outside of the spacecraft and that'll be after final loading and everything is done as well so we'll be able to see how everything is going to look when we crawl in uh, for launch day there's also a period of quarantine so we're just kind of uh, having some uh, some rest and relaxation but also uh, we'll study every day with our instructors that uh, come down with us and be fully as fully prepared as we can be when launch day comes relaxed prepared current and uh, and all ready to go so that's what we'll do thank you uh, Kevin, in Russian, please. Do you have any kind of fear that it's your first time? No, no fear, because uh, we've learned everything. We know it's uh, reliable. There may be some anxiety, but not fear. We're fully ready. Are there any differences between flying as a backup crew and as a primary crew? Of course. <laughs> When we were backups, we came back home, and this time we're going to fly. Yeah. But there probably was a possibility. No, not really. This time we're going to fly. That time we went back. Thank you very much. Don't rush. Don't let Tarelkins down. Oh, never.